Hi everyone, I'm Katie Couric and welcome to Eye to Eye. The Baseball Hall of Fame doesn't have a category for most balls snagged by a non-player, but they may have to start one. Zach Hample has grabbed nearly 3,000 Major League Baseballs from his spot in the stands. He revealed his secrets to correspondent Steve Hartman. I label all my baseballs with the number 2939. There it is. Uh, the last time that I went to a game and did not catch a single ball, even during batting practice, was 454 games ago, back in September of 1993. Wait, so, wait, for 454 games in a row, you've gotten a ball? 454 that I've gone to in a row. Yeah. Yeah, the last time I got shut out was 13 years ago. So I'm, I'm almost guaranteed to get at least one ball uh, every time I go. I ne I, I, I've never gotten a ball. Well, where's your glove? Well, that's, Where, I guess that's the where's first your thing. hat? Yeah. What do you, you mean know. the hat? What do you need well, a hat for? You know, I have a, I have my Phillies hat here, so I can look like I'm a Phillies fan, and uh, of course, in my bag of tricks, I also have my Cubs hat right there. Now, why would you need both hats? Um, visiting teams love to spot their quote unquote fans on the road and reward them with autographs or baseballs. Oh, and you're a quote unquote. And fan. I am a quote unquote fan. Um, I know it's fraudulent and sneaky, but. You know, we do what we have to do. Yeah, great. Way to use your elbows, sir. There's a great section for foul balls in this stadium, right behind home plate, but it's, it's guarded as heavily as Fort Knox. Uh, you, you just can't get there unless you're a season ticket holder. I know you guys guard this section very heavily. I'm wondering if there's any chance at all that I might be able to hang out here and try to catch a foul ball. I drove down from New York. I wrote a book about getting balls. If I could somehow get there, uh, I would say that there'd be uh, definitely a 50-50 chance that I'd get a foul ball during the game, maybe even better. It seems like every game there are a few that land there. Now, what's going to happen if the foul ball comes our way? What are you going to do? Um, I'm going to knock over the camera, elbow you in the jaw, um, jump up and start running like hell. Um, no. I mean, if there's a foul ball up, I mean, you're out of your seat and out of the, and, and in the aisle? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's why I'm sitting on the end of the row here, because uh, I, I want to make sure that I have some range. If you're trapped in the middle of a long row of fans, you have a very slim chance of getting a ball, because the odds that a ball would come directly to you, I mean, that's almost like winning the lottery. But the reason why I average... See, look at that. That's almost to my section right there. Not quite. Oh, yep. If I could have, if I could have been in that section, I would have had one foul ball. First inning, I would have had one foul ball, without a doubt, because that landed, that hit off the second deck, and bounced back down about and, and why aren't you 20 open? feet where I would have been from where I would have been standing. And, and why I, can't you be there? Because, like I said, that section is extremely guarded by security and the ushers. Who, why, who are they trying to keep out? Oh, the riffraff like me. Um, <laughs> You know, if only they knew that I'm actually not causing any trouble. Another one. Cole, is there any chance you could toss that ball up, please? I just said please. Oh, I appreciate it. I can ask for a ball in, in 27 different languages. You now there, can? I can. There aren't, now, there aren't that many um, different languages that I need to, like, you know, there's only guys maybe that I need to use about four different languages for. Like, Spanish is a big one, and Korean, I just used those two today. Japanese, of course. Like, how, but, give me some examples. Well, just today I asked Roberto Novoa for a ball. Let's run through the, the languages. Oh, Spanish, dame la bola, por favor. Japanese, choto, boro nagate kudasai. Korean, kong jiseo. Uh, I Italian, per favore, lancia me la palla per piacere. Uh, we could do a Russian, Pajalista, Bros, Menemiachi, Turkish, Lutfen, Banabir Topa Tarmisen, Hebrew, Zrok, Liat Hakadur, uh, German, Bitter, Geben Sie mir einen Ball, Sign Language. There's actually a player who's. Uh, Hearing impaired, he's 95% hearing impaired. His name is Curtis Pride, and I've gotten a few balls from him by using sign language. It's still as much of a thrill now to get one as it was back in 1990 when I got my first few, believe it or not. Um, I just, I go crazy with excitement when one comes near me. And there's a lot of reasons. I think one reason is just, it's, it's a great connection to the game, um, to know that a certain ball was touched by a major leaguer and, and hit by another one and then it comes into my glove. It's almost like on the 10th fielder at times. And another thing is that I, I love 
I love to feel special, and I think everyone who goes for foul balls likes that feeling of being the one. You know, it's like there's 30,000 people in this stadium, and for a moment, all eyes would be on me or anyone else who catches a ball. And it's about beating the odds and beating the competition, and it's all these things that that really make me excited to get one.